Hello, Glammies. As you know, I have all of this footage. So I've decided to throw it all together week by week and have Throwback Thursdays. Enjoy. Okay. Why do you want to get to the I thought you'd want to show your face. That's useful. Come on, come on. You too. Hello, so I am headed to press today. Ooh. Did I pass the street? What is Cone Street? I think I passed. At the light, street. turn right onto Forsyth Street Southwest. Oh, Lord. I doing. Yes, trying to find Ryan Cameron. Like, my brain cannot remember how to get to 107.9. Late traffic. Ooh. So then, after that, I'm going to have to go to Magneta's house. Where do I go next? Oh, it's right there. Hmm. Where do I park? Hi, hey, Jamie! Who is this? Jamie. Okay, let's do this room tour at the Wynn. Here is the closet. A large mirror. When you come in, come around. There is the TV. Right here we have a bar with the glasses. Okay. Is this open? What's in here? We have a fridge. The uh, bar not open. I'm gonna peek out in a minute. So come back around. Has a tub. Then I love the mirror with the lighting, giving me vintage style. Yes, this is super cute. I'm loving it. Now let's check out the view. How do we open the view? Drapes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Got a nice little view. Not too shabby.
longest day ever so when I tell you I have been waiting to go hold on I have been waiting to go to Ellen forever when I it's two places so Wendy was on my list and then um, Ellen Wendy was on my list to go to I was like okay I was gonna schedule to go to Wendy at one point like years ago for my birthday and I was gonna have a crown on because that's what everybody did in the audience and then have this big gown on and be like okay my birthday is at Wendy yes I can be that groupy person but I don't consider it groupy I can it's like more festive with Ellen I became a fan maybe like six seven years ago like I was hooked on Ellen and it's more about the stories at the end the sad stories and I don't even want to consider them sad stories it's more stories of motivation people that want to help people people that are good people and it's just like the the feel-good stories that you need in life and you need to hear and you're just gonna cry and have a moment with them and so that's when I got hooked on Ellen. So I said I was going to make my way to Ellen. Me and my bestie were like, okay, we're gonna go to Ellen. We need to schedule to fly out to California probably at the end of October, early November, second week November. So then that way we could hopefully be part of the holiday giveaway. Cause it's like, you know how Oprah did and you get a car, you get a car. Like we wanted to be part of the giveaway for Ellen. So we were trying to schedule it. Long story short, never made it to Ellen either, but I finally made it to Ellen this way. And it feels so different. It's different now because it's like, ha, it's a different motivation. It's a different cause. It's a different reason. And it feels so different now because it's just like, ah, I'm there working, I'm part of the emails and corroborating the whole situation. Like it's it's a different, it's a different vibe. Like I didn't expect that I would be to Ellen in this type of way. I really, really enjoyed my day. It was amazing. I think Ellen was in the building. No matter what people want to say, I don't even really know what went down, but her work ethic, she still got up, she still went to work every day and she still gave it. 100% and hey I am not here to judge it I, I loved it I love it I love I love everything about it I am an Ellen fan and just like Wendy oh I don't want to cry I had been waiting forever to go and then I'm going when it's at the end and she is not there and just like Ellen I had been waiting forever to go and I'm going at the end and she's not there I'm just like oh. I, I, I I spoke it into existence I said I was going to be there I just did not think I would be there or be here in this type of way but I loved it I love the atmosphere the people were amazing so I had a great day today and I need to sign off before I get emotional. Good night.
So, this is my second night in Dubai, and I am about to hit up the club with some friends today. I did not have to work. I told myself I was going to go on a vacation in June, and I'm finally doing it. I have not been on one since last September, my birthday.